is so lazy today. Like, I'm not even wearing a bra right now. I ain't wearing underwear. It, we're just letting it all hang loose today. And you know what? It's happening. And I don't care about it. So, do you feel like you know me better now? I hope you do. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another unhaul video. I have a couple of books that I'm just either one, never going to read, or two, I've read and just didn't like, so I'm sending them off to the thrift store, back where they most likely came from. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> First book that I am getting rid of because I just, everything about this book was just a no for me. I did not like it. It just, it was so weird. I didn't know what I was reading. Let's Help Her Jungle by Andrew Smith. So many people love this book and I mean, like, I can see how it would appeal to some people. But it drove me crazy. Literally every other line was either talking about how the main character was horny, or it was talking about balls, or, like, sex, or fucking, and I was just like, no. I'm at the point where just no. It got really annoying, and I just couldn't handle it anymore. So, we're getting rid of it, and I'm really upset about it because I love the cover, and I love how the pages are yellow, so I'm just... I ain't happy that I'm getting rid of it, but I did not like it, so there's no point keeping it on my shelf. The next two books are part of the same series, and it is The Adoration of Jenna Fox and The Fox Inheritance by Mary E. Pearson. I read these a couple months ago, and I did actually really like them, but I don't own the third book, and also I don't really have an interest in picking up the third book, so I don't really see a point of keeping them on my shelves because I'm never going to reread them either. So I might as well give them to the thrift store and hopefully someone else will pick them up and enjoy them because they are good books. They were entertaining. The next book. I hated so much. I just could not stand the main character. I found hers to be so annoying and it is One Night That Changes Everything by Lauren Barnholt. I just, just know. So it needs to leave off my shelf so I can make room for bigger and better books. The next book I actually have not read but I was dumb and saw another copy in the thrift store. And I was like, ooh, I like that cover better, so I want that one. And it is Across the Universe by Beth Revis. Like I said, I picked up another copy of it. So, I mean, I still have the book, just this one's going back to the thrift store where I got it from. The next book is Beware That Girl by Teresa Totten. I actually haven't decided if I'm going to end up giving this one away because I actually did like the story. I thought it was kind of cool, but it had a lot of, like, problematic representation of abuse and stuff and I don't know if I want to give it away because of that because I feel like if someone reads it it could be bad for them but then also I'm like I don't know what to do with it. It's just gonna chill with me for now I guess but I'll probably give it away but haven't decided for sure yet. The next book is Overruled by Brittany Joy. I actually really did like this story but I'm giving it away because I need to make room for more books on my shelves. I'm probably never gonna reread this one. The next one in the series doesn't come out for like another two years so we're gonna give it to somebody else and hopefully they'll read it and enjoy it as well. The next book is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman, which I am so upset that I didn't like because this cover is just everything. I love it so much, so I'm really upset that I'm getting rid of it. But like all these books, I need to make room for more. Because literally under my bed is full of books and I filled up three other bookshelves, so we need to get rid of some of them so I can make room for more because we know I'm gonna get more because I have no self-control. The next, like, seven books, I think, are all, like, harlequin romancy kind of things which i am just never gonna read so i'm getting rid of them so they include to me i wed by km jackson stranger in town by william w johnstone mistletoe cottage by debbie mason the most dangerous duke in london by madeline hunter wind river wrangler by uh lindsay mckenna the Accident of the Stars. Things are falling out of it by uh, Fawz Meadows. And then Widowmaker Jones by Brett Cogburn. So. I'm never gonna read them. I'm probably gonna end up giving them to my boyfriend's mom because she like loves books like that. So I'm just gonna shove them at her and hopefully she'll take them. Alright guys, so those are all the books that I am probably never going to read or I have read and just don't want them on my shelves anymore. So I'm bringing them back to the thrift store or either giving them away to my boyfriend's mom. If you've read any of these books, let me know down below and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!